Well, no more workers from the big three will take to the picket line. As we said at the top of the show, that was part of the update today from UAW President Sean Fay. This comes as Fain says more progress is being made toward a deal. Kaylee Marantet listened in on that update. Kaylee, that's positive news. Yeah, that is positive news, even though there's no tentative deal just yet. But Fain says in three weeks of being on strike, the companies have moved further on their offers than anyone thought possible. When it comes to wages, Fain says Ford's first proposal was 9.9% 9 9 raise. Now they're at 23%. Stellantis and GM are both around 20%. When it comes to inflation, Fain says Ford and Stellantis have agreed to reinstate a cost of living allowance, and GM could soon be making the same deal. Even with no agreement, three weeks into the strike, UAW leaders seem to be happy with what's come of it so far. What has moved the needle is our willingness to take action, to be flexible, to be aggressive when we have to, and to be strategic. Throughout this strike, I've been heartened to see our members talking about and debating our strategy. We're thinking together about the core question of the labor movement. If there is another update next week, we'll be sure to bring you the latest with what UAW has to say. In studio, Kaylee Marant at WTOL 11. WTOL 11 reached out to the big three after the UAW's announcement today. Stellantis saying, quote, we continue to have good momentum at the bargaining table and have been working diligently with the UAW over the last week to build on that. The company goes on to say, while we still have some work to do, I remain optimistic that our discussions are providing a pathway to a tentative agreement. We have not heard from GM or Ford, but Local 14 representative, uh, represents workers at GM Propulsion's plant, and we heard from them. Union President Tony Toddy telling WTOL 11, quote, Today was a good day for our members locally. If the battery facilities are in our master agreements, the members that are from Lordstown should be able to transfer back home. They won't have to maintain two residences anymore.